Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name's Taylor, and we're going to be going over a 2021 Integra Coach. It is a Cornerstone 45Z. Oh, let's start up here at the front. <clears throat> so the list price on this one right now, it just had a price reduction at $559,748, and it has 27,000 miles on it. So this coach originally came with a three-year chassis warranty. So since you're under that 55, uh, 500,000 mile uh, warranty, you still have about a year left. <clears throat> All right. We do have Michelin tires. So that's the most trusted name in the business. And you have a Bilstein monotube gas pressure shock. So it's gonna uh, eliminate excessive sway and kind of help with, if you hit a pothole, it's not really gonna jerk your whole coach. Go on here to the first bay. You do have a Dometic half freezer, half fridge. I'll pull it out. Go. Take a look inside. Oops. Push the, there we go. So it is separated. You could have one side a freezer, one side a fridge, or you can just have it both set at a freezer if you'd like. Here's some beautiful storage, which also has some carpet, which is nice. Makes it have a cleaner look, and you can pull it out as well on a, just a touch of a button. does come out pretty far and then you can access it on both sides as well. Right back in. Quick and easy. Alrighty, moving on to our outside entertainment center. You have the Samsung TV and a Bose surround sound. Perfect for a summer night. Watch some movies with the kiddos. Onto our next bay. This is also electric too, so you could just push it. Push of a button, it reels out the same, just as the one before. And then our next one, here we have some inverter switches. So you can turn it off so you have no stagnant power when your coach is just sitting on the lot. You don't want to come back to a dead coach. And still all the carpet in there is nice. Clean look. It's a little bit of storage and your water flush on this side. So it gives you a little bit of flexibility. And then I did want to briefly go over, it is built on an X-Bridge frame, so it helps with um, strength and um, rigidity. So it eliminates that chassis flex, so it's absorbed more by the shocks, um, and it helps with that vibration and suspension while you're going down the road. Here's just a little mini door inside of the bay door, as you can kind of tell, just so you can reach your def tank without having to open the whole entire door. So I like this little cutout. Um, to get into tight spaces if you need to fill. It is a 15 gallon death tank. Now we'll open the whole door. As you can see, you can still see the death tank. You have your chassis batteries right here and then your air dryer system, which needs to be changed out about every two to three years, depending on how much you use it. So it's very accessible so you can change it out yourself. Alrighty, now we're getting to the good stuff. So I know this is a cornerstone and it's 45 footer, but it does have a lot of horsepower. It is a K3605 on a Spartan chassis. Um, it has an Allison transmission and a 2000 hitch with a Cummins 15 liter turbo.
so you won't have any problems towing anything with this or going up mountains and stuff. You won't be putting along. You have a plenty of horsepower. You also do have your backup camera right here, but it does have the mobile eye, so you'll be able to see your whole entire coach even on the big screen, which I'll show you once we get inside. Here is our wet bay, and it also does have its own little storage for your hose. So for when you dump, you don't really have to get creative. It has a little spot for you, which is really nice. You also have a touchscreen monitor right here to show you your tank levels. And then your flushing systems right here, a little outside shower. This is for your filter, and then your macerator. And you also do have a light for when it's dark outside. And then you have your hose right there as well. Alrighty, so we have your aqua hot on demand hot water and then your 50 amp shore power cord right here which is on a reel which is nice so you don't have to actually you'll manually, manually pull it out but you can retract it in which definitely helps you on a cold or super hot day you'll break a sweat or be freezing if you don't have that and i'll just show you this side even though the storage you could see through they're identical on both sides and this coach also does have an IFS, which is an independent front suspension, which helps with that weight distribution also when you're running out of the road. So you should have an easy breezy bride, uh, bride, ride <laughs> on this, in this coach. You do have, here's one site for your fuel right here, the diesel, it's 150 gallons and it does have the dual. I can show you before we go on the door as well. It's right, located right here. And then you do have the front own on generator. You have a light and then this is your switch so you can retract it out. So you can maintenance your own generator if you like. It's very accessible. We do have it on right now so we can be running that AC. Up at the front you can see you have another camera and then you have two cameras on both of your mirrors right here for that mobile eye as well. Here's that other fill for the 150 gallon tank. And then you do have a doorbell system also with a little control panel to put in a pin if you forget your keys. Alrighty, now let's take a look inside. So at first look, it's very bright and vibrant. Um, we do have some nice tile, very shiny porcelain tiles. The leather in here is actually a t Villa Italian leather all around. So for your, your two captain's chairs, the couch, and then also the booth dinette. We have some storage up here. They're all the same. And then we also have recliners for these, so you can move up your chairs if you'd like. Perfect. Try this side. Alrighty. It's not letting me do it for some reason, but they do recline. Maybe I have to push. I'm not sure. Well, this is awkward. We'll keep going. <laughs> All right, so you have the beautiful Samsung TV right here with your fireplace. So it's kind of more of the entertainment center. And of course, your captain's chairs do swivel to get you a little bit more comfortability inside. The dining area, I like how it's a little bit cut off right here with this extended countertop. This is a quartz countertop. And it just kind of cuts off your kitchen and dining area and separates it a little bit. Gives you a little bit more of a homey feel. And then I'll show you more of the cabinet space up here. 
This is a gloss finish. My favorite little rack, very nifty. Not a lot of people can reach the very back, so this helps kind of create a little bit more storage space for you, especially if it rolls all the way back there. You're not having to get on top of the counter to reach things. <laughs> all righty, we'll go on to the sink here. Show you it is one full sink. There is no divider, but it is huge. And it is a Blanco single bowl granite sink. And this does come off so you can make easily clean your sink. And then you have your nice little soap dispenser. And then these are very heavy, but it does convert to a uh, cutting board on the other side. Put it back. I like how they cut it into two because this is so heavy, just it already being cut in half. So it makes it a lot nicer. Here is just a little bit of storage. And then we get down into here. Kind of has little cubby holes right here. Cuts things off to keep you a little bit more organized. And then these drawers do go all the way back to for as long as this counter is, which is really nice. Perfect for forks, spatulas, or even towels. This one's a little deeper than the first one. And then the last one is the same. So you have two medium ones and this one's a little bit smaller, but still with how long it is, it's a lot of counter, um, a lot of storage space for you. All right, we'll move on to the convectional Whirlpool microwave. We did see the little bracket in there to make it a uh, convection. Very big microwave. And then this just folds up for a little extra storage, maybe for like pans and stuff, flat pans. Ones to cook like bacon or pancakes. <laughs> Alrighty, and then this is just a little cover for your induction. So this is a Furion induction, two burner, and it's an all electric coach. So you don't have to worry about propane and this is just a nice little cover. One big drawer right underneath that induction. And then of course we do have the dishwasher. And then you just push the buttons right here. Those uh, the buttons aren't on the inside; they're actually on the outside on this one. And we got some more drawers, little nifty. This would probably be better for forks and silverware. So that's kind of neat. And then we have three more additional drawers right here. Perfect, and we'll slide over here. Nice little wine area, I would like to call it, or whatever you fancy to drink at night. <laughs> nice little see-through glass. And then you have one down here as well. All right, I know we just showed you all of that storage, but of course we do have a pantry as well, which is very big. And the slots right here are interchangeable, so you can change them to your liking. And then you have a drawer at the very bottom, which I would probably put canned foods in here so they're easy to get to. All right, we have a residential fridge. It is Whirlpool, a nice little lock right here so you don't have to worry about um, your doors flying open when you're going down the road. Then we have the control panels up here to set your temp. Plenty of storage in here. And then a great big freezer. And you also have little drawers at the bottom too to separate veggies and meat. 
little ice cube tray and another tray. Perfect. Now let's head into the bathroom. We'll show you this to this little hideaway storage as well before we move on to the, the bathroom. Alrighty, so when you first walk in, you have this big control screen right here. It's already telling me my temperatures. And it also tells me my bay temperature, what I absolutely love, because that's perfect for in the winter. It has a date and a time. And you can do a blackout option. Just go ahead and double tap it. This is our home screen. It has your tank monitors, your AC source and inverter power, and then also your tanks, tank levels right here. We'll go in and this controls all your lights. So when we were messing with this beforehand, we figured out it was really cool that you can actually dim the lights to how bright you want them or to how dull you want them. Each little bubble is a different light. So that was kind of cool. But you can set them, and then once you just turn it on, it'll automatically be at whatever you set it at. So you don't have to set it to that every time. This kind of just segregates everything, your living area, bathroom, and bedroom for your slides, and then you have your shades right here. All the temperatures for your bedroom, kitchen, living area, and then also the bays. This is for your exterior AV. And then you just have your uh, fans, cargo, panel lights, and sensors, and, and then you have all your settings right here. And then we'll slide on over to the dual sinks. This is a glass sink inside, so it's beautifulish, kind of a brownish black with a gold accent against the brown. It looks be very beautiful and bright. And then you do have storage behind each of the mirrors. If I can open this one. There we go. Perfect. And then this op opens as well. And then we have four drawers here. This one's perfect for your toothpaste and toothbrushes. And then towels, hand towels, anything like that. A tremendous amount of storage in here. You could definitely just live in this coach with how much storage you have. All your cleaning supplies can go under here. And then you have the four additional drawers right here as well on the same side. And you have two outlets on each side. All right. Little cabinet here, cabinet here with interchangeable shelves. All righty, and we'll go into the bathroom here. It is a little bit of a tight squeeze, so I'll just stay out. But beautiful tile. You do have a porcelain shower walls as well as tile. It is a tiki wood shower seat cover right there. And then you do have the Aqua View shower mister, which is a water saver. So you won't be wasting that water while it's getting hot. Then I'll go ahead and open those storage areas for you, just so you can take a peek. So these are where the breakers are. So it's just kind of covering that. And then you have two little cubbies right here. And then this back one opens as well. And you have your window right here with your little um, pressurizer for the toilet. Alrighty. Now into the bedroom, you do have a pocket door right here, so you can close it off if you'd like. Oh, and it does have a mirror. I'll shut it for you so you can see the mirror once we get in here. But it does have a full body mirror, which, you know, us girls definitely love the full body mirror. It is a must have <laughs> before you get ready in the morning to make sure everything's appealing. All right, but this is a king size bed. As you can see, we have three huge storage areas up here. Oh, I can't get that one. But they're all the same. 
I'll get the other side for you. And then you do have a little tiny one right here with sockets and then also your little, um, I'm drawing a blank on what this, oh, USB. So you don't need the cube for your iPhone, which I always lose. <laughs> All right. And then this is a door to go into the closet. Before we get ahead of ourselves, we do have two closet areas for his and her or whoever is traveling with you. And then you do have that first alert safe. And the quality in the, the magnets and the doors are very sturdy and have good durability. So they should last long. Very deep drawers. Both are the same. And then you have your Bose stereo system right here that goes along with your little TV. Oh, here's that remote for your fan and lights. So when you're in bed, and then we got some more remotes in here too for the TV in this drawer. And just as we went over on this one, that is identical on this side, but we do have some cords in here for the TV system. All right. And then now we'll go into our walk-in closet. All right. Very huge closet space. I like how this lights up. Um, and then you have a little uh, shelf right here for your shoes which many people love. And then inside the closet, you have the washer and dryer in here, which is kind of nice. You won't have to be lugging your clothes out of your bedroom to wash them. You have your little drawer right here, which you could keep your soaps and whatnot for. When you're washing your dryer sheets, all the must haves. And then on this side is your storage. Perfect, they're all three identically the same, so they're not misleading with how the face looks of the drawers. And then this is just a little entrance area of where they would, where you could see your chassis. So it's very accessible too when you get it maintenance. All right, let's head up front to the cockpit area and I'll show you that big screen. Alrighty. All right, so it is a push start. We do have our generator on, but I'll go ahead and fire it up. Very quiet start, didn't really shake. And then this is the mobile eye that I was telling you about, so you could see right now everything. That's the backup camera, which is super nice. And then once I do put it in reverse, oops, it still keeps it there for you. Whoops, I had it in neutral, awkward. There you go. And then it shows the lines, which I absolutely love. I need those, especially if I'm backing something in. Go ahead and put it back and park for you guys. And then as you can see, you have your turning signals too, so it'll automatically change for you so you can see your blind spots. But right now we're just looking at our slides. and then it goes back to that mobile eye. You have a big beautiful dash up here. Let me see if I can, whoops, turn the blinker on again, there we go. Perfect. But beautiful touch screen, you have your menu, navigation, it does have Bluetooth, and then your control panels for your AC right here. You have two cup holders. These are the keys, and you have a little compartment right here. 
little AC vents. Your equalizer system is going to be located right here. So you do have your automatic leveling jacks. You've got your fog lights right there, your accent lights, and your docking lights. And then you also have uh, map lights, which is overhead if you're actually looking at a map. And then the hiss controls your mirrors, so you can get them just to your liking. And then you have your horn. Put this up so you can kind of see it better. Here is your aux brake for both of them, high, medium, or low, so you could set it. Your window, it is a powered window and opens for you. And then you have your column tilt and your pedal slide so you can kind of move all this up here for you to have that beautiful comfort drive. Your battery boost button, will def which will definitely save you. And then your house um, shut off button right here so you can totally disconnect everything just a touch of a button so you don't have to worry about any stagnant power and then this is your tag dump but other than that that is it for our 2021 cornerstone um, go ahead and call me if you guys have any questions my name is Taylor and give me a call at three uh, sorry nine seven zero three eight eight seven nine three seven thank you guys so much for joining me today